the one you take to bed with you. Come to me now. Come to Nikki. television screen has become the retina of the mind's eye. We're entering savage new times. It changed my life. I'm not surprised. It's dangerous, you know. I'll turn it off. No, no, no. It's okay. I can take it. Video drill is death. You're going insane. <sighs> I can hear you disintegrating while you talk to me. Mom left the new flesh. Today's film club presentation is David Cronenberg's 1983 film, Videodrome. As a young child growing up in Canada, David Cronenberg used to pick up pirate TV signals from Buffalo, New York after the Canadian stations had gone off the air for the night. He would watch Transfixed, but terrified, terrified that he might see something not fit for public consumption. That terror seemed to stay with him until adulthood and formed the basis of his idea for Videodrome. Um, it's very hard for me to say what Videodrome is about in a sense because it's, I think it's totally misleading to say that it's a criticism of television or that it's a, you know, an, an extension of network or something like that. It's, it really is exploring what I've been doing all along, which is to see what happens when, when people go to extremes in trying to alter their total environment to the point where it comes back and starts to alter their, 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 their physical selves. By 1983, Cronenberg was already a director to watch. He'd started out with low-budget films financed by the Canadian government in the 1970s. Shivers and then Rabid had become small hits with distributors. And then in 1981, he made Scanners, which became a large international hit at the box office. Scanners had been a strange and unusual film, but with Videodrome, Cronenberg was going to be taking viewers on a trip through techno-surrealism. I don't really have a message that I feel that the world must hear in order to be saved at all. So, uh, in that, to that extent, my films are entertainment in, a, in the fullest sense. I mean, I, I like people to entertain my films rather than my films to entertain them, to entertain the ideas in the film. And um, the fact that film audiences are fragmented and that there are people who will just not understand what I'm doing or not care to know what I'm doing, that's, to me that's inevitable, that's not a surprise at all. I think that massive doses of Videodrome signal will ultimately produce and control hallucination to the point that it will change human reality. As his star, Cronenberg chose James Woods, well known now but not then. Cronenberg evidently saw the talent and energy that would give his film an edgy feel. And for Woods' co-star, he turned to none other than blondie pop star Debbie Harry, who was keen to add film star to her repertoire. The film seemed to have some pretty extreme ideas, but according to Cronenberg, it was middle-class values that were at the heart of the story. I consider myself an you know, ideal bourgeois. You know, I, I just The things that I'm concerned with in the films and the people that I'm dealing with in the film are, are, are fairly middle class in, their, in what they do and what they think and what they're trying to protect. As usual, Cronenberg came under fire for what some viewers described as obscene imagery in his film. I, I personally get very offended when in the middle of a fiction film you see, uh, let's say, an animal slaughtered and it's for real. I, I find that very offensive because it's a whole different level of reality interjected into the middle of, of a fiction and I think it's a very cheap way of getting an, you know, a response from an audience because of course that kind of thing will always get a response. It gets a response from me but not the right kind of response. But um, there are only wrong things in terms of what works for the context of a particular film. Uh, but in general I'd say no there's nothing you, you shouldn't be able to show on a film. It's interesting to note that the overall feeling that one gets from watching this film is not disgust at what you have seen, but an unease about what you might be about to see. And in that respect, isn't that what Cronenberg was trying to do all along? To recreate that same feeling he had when watching pirate TV in his bedroom when he was a child. It will shatter your reality. Video Drone. Video Drone. Starring Deborah Harry 
and James Woods. A shocking new vision from the creator of Scanners. Coming soon to a theater near you from Universal Pictures. So now, sit back and enjoy Videodrome.